Hi everybody. I'm not going to tell you who I'm dressed up like today quite yet. I want to see if you can figure it out. But I am going to talk about a famous artist today and she had lots of pets. So I'm going to show you my pets. I have Sophie and I have Bailey. Bailey's really old. And then I have Luna. She's my Highlands kitty. She was rescued by a fifth grader named Sadie. Wow, I think two years ago or last year. So she's a little moody, so I'm gonna let her go. So she'll she doesn't like to be filmed. So we'll let her go. But let's see if you can figure out who I am going to talk about and maybe get you inspired to do some art this week. Can you guess? Who is Miss Butterfur dressed like today? Frida Kahlo. She is a famous painter. Once upon a time, in a bright blue house near Mexico City, lived a small girl called Frida. She would grow up to be one of the most famous painters of the 20th century, but she almost didn't grow up at all. So listen to this part, boys and girls, and I want you to think about how is she resilient? We talk about that word all the time in class. How is she resilient? When she was six, she nearly died from polio. The disease left her with a permanent limp, but that didn't stop her from playing. She still learned to swim, wrestled, and just like the other kids, learned to ride a bike. Even when other kids teased her, it didn't stop her. Then when she was 18, she was in a terrible bus accident and she almost died again. But her mom didn't let her give up. She spent months in bed. Her mother made her a special easel and hung a mirror above her bed while lying down. For more than anything else, Frida loved to paint. As soon as she was able to walk again, she went to Mexico's most famous artist, Diego Rivera, and she was very bold. And she said, are my paintings any good? Her paintings were amazing, bold, bright, and beautiful and they had a lot of expression. So today, boys and girls, I want you to learn about Frida. Frida is famous for a lot of self-portraits. Self-portraits or self-paintings are when an artist actually paints or draws pictures of themselves. So I want to encourage you to get a mirror. You could, if you don't have a mirror at home, look in a mirror. Any mirror that you have in your house, in the bathroom, maybe your mom has one in her bedroom, look closely at yourself and try to draw something as perfect as you can that looks like you. So if there's one thing you can do, you can just draw a self-portrait and add some pets or things about yourself in the background like Frida used to do. Remember, she used bright, bold colors. Sometimes her, her paintings were a little bit sad and they showed how she was feeling at that time. She also um, had a parrot. You could draw a picture of a parrot. She had pet monkeys. You could draw a picture of a monkey. She had a pet fawn. She had dogs and she had cats, lots of different animals. Her animals kept her company. Her animals helped her feel good when she was sad. And I bet you she helped her animals too. Another art lesson I'd like you to learn about is just simply fold a paper in half Fold the paper in half and you draw the best that you can one side of yourself. And then on the other side, draw things about yourself. So remember, you can draw or paint a picture of yourself and in the background, your face would be in the forefront and in the background would be all your different things about yourself. Or you draw half of yourself and include on the other side so on mine, I have a ruler and a heart and numbers. I bet you, you could figure that out, but I love teaching. I drew pictures of my family, my pets. I love to read, I love fresh flowers, and I love to travel. On Epic, I assigned a really, really fun informational video about Frida, all of her amazing art, but also it's a lot about her pets. So it's called Frida Kahlo and her animalitos. And also I assigned a book. So get to reading, get to watching, get to doing some really, really fun art this week. Okay? And 
I'm hopeful that on our next Zoom lesson, when you get to check in with me, you can show me some of your amazing artwork this week. So remember, get on Epic, read about Frida, watch a really fun video on about all of her, her famous pets and all her famous artwork, and get to doing some artwork. Miss you guys. Bye.